This is Rob Liefeld. Kai Review is going down. Hey guys, just finished watching Jessica Jones season three, episode one, aka The Perfect Burger. Um, so what I'm going to be doing for these reviews instead of just one for every episode, there's so many. I'm just going to watch the first one, then I'm going to watch a lot, watch them all, and then I'll do a review of the whole season. So just be two videos for uh, this season. So. This will be my review just for the first episode to see as to how things go and how I like how excited I am for the story. And I think this season, this story isn't going to be interesting knowing that it's the final season. They're promoting it as the final season. I've been thinking about while watching this just kind of, you know, did, did, did they know when they were on set, when they were writing it, it was that it was going to be the final scene, final uh, season? I mean, they announced that it was going to be the final season, um, you know, like pretty much, I think, after they had already filmed the the season, so uh, I you know I think that was kind of interesting with that because that's when you know Disney originally kind of pulled their plug and said yeah we're starting their own stuff we're no longer going to be putting anything uh, anything else out in the in the Disney stuff in the Netflix stuff and uh, we're not going to be putting all the Avengers and Marvel movies there so Netflix is like well why would we keep producing Marvel stuff if you're not giving us all of the Marvel stuff right. Uh, so we just stop that, right? So that's why they're stopping this show. So I think that's going to be interesting to see as to where things go. But the writers, you know, when all that stuff, they know that going into this. So hopefully they had, I mean, it's been a while. I'm not sure when they finished uh, filming the, this show, but I think it's been a while. I think they had they had this, like, finished filming, like, was it 2000, 2000 late, or late 2018, something like that. So they had a few months to come back and kind of maybe do some reshoots and, uh, do a different ending, like a series ending for this show, which I think is going to be interesting to see as to where where this goes. Um, but so far, this this storyline it doesn't feel like an ending yet. I mean, obviously, only episode one of thirteen, so that's really going to be interesting to see as to where things kind of go with that. But uh, so far, I like where the storyline's going with uh, Trish being kind of m the main. I mean, obviously, we're following Jessica, but it's still kind of Trish is the main is the part is. Is part of the is the main story type thing, which I kind of like having that, especially how things ended last last season. And going into this, I had to kind of rewatch the seas to where things go, and the, the recap that they do on Netflix is really really good. Really gets you into everything. I wish it was a little bit longer to go a little bit more in depth, um, but I think it definitely hits a lot of points. It gets you hyped to watch it. So I definitely would say watch the recap before getting into this because you you need to just see that little things a little bit of recaps. And stuff just to get kind of where things were for every the characters and stuff so getting into this i definitely think this so far after this one episode it really is an interesting show and i just kind of love the chemistry between everyone on camera so you know definitely watch this but uh if, if you've already seen episode, season one and two why would you not watch the third one right um so we start off this episode with uh, finding that jessica has a receptionist which is very a uh, wtf moment like doesn't kind of make sense but she has a receptionist i guess Gets to try and keep herself like on a schedule and all that stuff. So, trying to be, I guess, mature about it and having a receptionist helps with that, I guess. Um, we see that Dorothy Walker ends up hiring uh, Jessica or wants to hire Jessica to, to, to find Trish. She doesn't want anything to do with her. And Dorothy doesn't know, uh, Trish's mother doesn't know that Trish killed Jessica's mother. So, I think that's going to be interesting to see. And I thought that she was just going to, in a fit of, if, you know, not wanting to, and you know, just kind of, she's going to say, tell her. And then, you know, and I'm surprised she didn't tell her. That Dorothy, that uh, Trish is the one who killed uh, her mother, right, type thing. So I think that would have been something interesting to, to, to see, to see that. So that'd be cool to see as to wherever that pops up in the show, um, to see as to how that kind of reacts. And hopefully we get the reveal, or she finds out, uh, you know, somehow with everyone in the room, you know, Trish and uh, all three of them together. I think that could be something interesting to see. So I kind of like as to where things are going to go with that part of the storyline, um, and they're just kind of implying that she doesn't know in the uh who killed jessica's mother right um we see that hogarth um you know her als is kind of really going bad she falls out of the the bed she's about to take these kind of like suicide pills type thing but she can't do it herself uh she wants jessica to just kill her and stuff so that's kind of interesting there um that's going to be interesting to see as to where her storyline goes and how far we get to see her go into this uh, als syndrome type thing how long is this i mean these episodes how long are they gonna last this season usually they last like about a, a most a month if you want to say or a couple of weeks um so you know, it really is you know she really gonna i mean she could ALS if she could just take a drastic nosedive in her symptoms in her diagnosis but it would be interesting to see is to kind of where things kind of go and how her storyline ends up ending for this uh this season because of that 
Obviously, Trish, we end up finding Trish. We find out that she's kind of fighting crime, and obviously we knew that as the audience because of the, the way things ended with last season and her, you know, getting superpowers from that experiment from the same guy who experimented on Jessica, and, you know, she caught her phone for her to become Hellcat. So that's hopefully something that's going to be interesting to see as to where things go. I'd hope to see them do a, a costume. Now, usually what they do in these shows, like Daredevil season one, they give them like a, a, a danky costume, like a really homemade costume that they make themselves, and then we build up to it. So hopefully we don't get that because I'd be kind of very disappointed as if we, you know, get her in some sort of home, cheap homemade costume, and then we get the expensive costume at the end of the end of the season. And we never really get like one episode in that. That would have been really terrible. At least with Daredevil, you know, we got a few seasons in that. At the end of this first season with one episode of him in the, the red suit. But we got it for like a ton of, you know, Defenders, two other seasons of uh, Daredevil and stuff. So we'll have to wait and see. I mean, Trish does have the money. She should be able to just, instead of making her own cheap costume, uh, she can just, you know, buy an expensive one uh, out there. You know, she could just go on that. You could go on Etsy and just get, hire one. And she has the money to get a uh put a lot of money into it so that would be cool to see a uh to see how they would do that on this show i mean obviously that costume is very bright and blue and stuff and yellow i don't think it would really fit in this universe but you know a toned down version of it could be something interesting to to see as to how things kind of go with this and they also don't want to go they have to i think they have to go with a little bit of the blue and stuff to not have it just come off if they go black then it just comes off as a cat woman right they got to do it a little bit more different so that'll be interesting to see as to where things go how they do that storyline for her um we see that malcolm uh, he's a fixer for uh for hogarth but uh he's really not happy with that because he, a, he keeps fixing the same drunks the same drunken celebrities and all that stuff and then he ends up kind of hitting the you know, getting the guy in trouble, which is interesting the way things ended with that. He hits the guy's car, um, you know, so that the guy can get injured and not be played and stuff. But the guy never gets in trouble to the point where he gets, he has to pay for being a drunk all the time, you know, which is interesting. I don't know why um, no one's, he, why he didn't, like, yes, he hit the guy. He wanted to injure the guy and really get back at the guy. But he could have just gone up to a pay phone and just, you know, I saw so-and-so leaving the bar drunk type thing, uh, you know. Or just something like that. Very easy. Uh, I mean, he's he, they they established he's a famous baseball player, so he could have had a, a, a telephone and just pick it up, say, "I see so and so, name the celebrity driving drunk," blah, 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 and just you know, have, put that out there, and there you go. You have him, uh, you know, <laughs> you, you get him in trouble, right? Type thing, uh, and someone else, the cops go over and, and find him. That you know, they could probably could be taken down and stuff, but I just think that there was a bit easier way or a different way that he could have done it. Yeah, he injured the guy, but that's all he did is injure the guy, and now he becomes out of this incident as the victim and not as the problem, you know? So I think it's going to be interesting to see as to where things go with his storyline, and I would have done it a little bit different just so that he's forced to kind of uh, to be revealed as the bad guy, whereas in the situation that the, the drunk is actually the, 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 the victim. So that's kind of terrible there. And then we end the episode with Jessica getting a knock on her door, and she gets stabbed. <laughs> That's the end of the episode. Oh my god, am I excited? These are amazing episodes, and I can't wait to watch to, to get into this season and watch it. It's going to be so much fun, and I'm so disappointed that things are over. So let me know what you think, guys, about this episode in the comments below. What do you think about the season? How do you think things are going to go? And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. We're here for Kyle Reviewed on YouTube. The very best Kyle Reviewed channel on all the YouTube Kyle Reviewed channels. You got that? You got that right? Thank you for watching Kyle Reviewed. Deadpool and I thought it was fantastic. You need to like, you need to subscribe. You know how it's done? Like, subscribe. Right, DP? All right, Kyle Reviewed. Cool channel.